what's up everyone so welcome to another video and in this video i'll be making a flappy back game so this is like flappy bird but in scratch so let's just change this i mean title it to flappy bat and just do that and now the uh, you're gonna browse for a bat, which is like right over here. Pick that, and now go to go to paint the sprite, and you can pick whatever colors you personally like. I'm just gonna do this for the video because I don't want to make it that complex. All right, so now you're just gonna make like a pillar in Flappy Bird. So you're just gonna do this, do this, and um. Yeah, so you got that done, and I'll just select it, and you're going to do copy, paste, and flip it vertically, and you can put it anywhere you want on the map. I'll just put it here like this, and now you can duplicate these to like three, and you can arrange them in whatever way you, pers you like. So, I'll do something like this, and for this, I'll do something like this. And now just go over to your code for the bat uh, for the sprite one. It's very easy. Just grab a one green flag clicked. Go to your look, switch costume to costume one. Grab a forever loop. Go to motions and put this all the way at the edge of the map. And you go to X and Y and now put this at the other side of the map. And you're gonna see this glide and put that in there. So and now you can um change this to like four or five and now you can see that it's gliding over there from the other side to the other side and uh, you're also going to want it to switch the costume so it won't be just the same thing right and now you just as soon as it touches that it'll switch to the other one and then after that it'll switch to the other one and then this can go on countlessly um so yeah and that's all for the sprite code now go to your back code so as you guys probably know in um flappy bird the bat like the bird or the bat is always falling to the ground right so let me just change the size of this and go to your events grab a one green flag click go to your f grab a forever loop and go to motions and do go to x and you don't need to put anything unless you um put it at the top corner and then you go to put a motion block the go to uh, x and y and now you're gonna do change y by negative four and now you can see it's gonna go all the way to the top and we'll be changing it right like that go to your events and now grab a one space key press bot event you're gonna go to your controls and grab a repeat and in that repeat block you're gonna put um change y by 10 and now you can see every time you press the space key it's gonna change the y and it'll go up and if you don't press it it'll fall down right so uh let's just choose the backdrop uh oops choose it blue sky and uh, i'm gonna change the bat size to 50. so uh now you want it to like every time it touches the sprite one you want it to um say like a game over so you're gonna go to your events grab a one green flag click go to f grab a forever loop then an if then statement and do if it is touching the sprite one then uh there's gonna be just a paint to backdrop oops just pick like the blue sky right here and now uh i'll just make this like black for the game over screen and you can do it like that stretch it out a bit there you go and make sure you change the color of this or else you can't see it so now just write a message saying game over stretch it out and put it right there like that boom so 
every time I'm touching that, you're going to go to your look, switch the backdrop, and make sure you put that over there before, or else it'll only stay at the game over screen. And then do switch backdrop to the backdrop one. And then you're going to go to your controls, I mean looks, and do hide. And every time you use a hide, you're going to want to use a show. So just put a show over there. And just... Um, and also you're going to broadcast a message so that the, um, the, so this will just be a hide, hide message. And then whenever I receive the hide message, I'm going to hide, right? So you got that. And then obviously you're going to have to put a show right there. So boom, let's see if this works now. So, every time we touch the pillars, there we go. Boom, we got it working. Now, let's see if we can go past it. So, we also, every time you touch the edge, you want it to also do the same thing. So, just duplicate this and do this edge. So, now you can see, every time we touch the edge, same thing happens. And every time we touch the pillars, same thing happens. So let's try to go through some levels and see if this we can actually beat the game because this is a really hard game since it's in scratch. Um, you can't really do that much, but you can try your best to beat it. As you can see, I got through one level, and yeah. So. That was it for the video guys, hope you found this tutorial fun and helpful and I'll see you in the next video and make sure to like and subscribe and yeah, so bye guys.